Hello friends, how are you guys today? I am sick still, so don't mind my voice, but I'm excited because we're back in my dream life. And look at my little, my little honey buns. Isn't he just a little piece of monster cake sitting there enjoying some fruit? Now, in the last part, we voted on whether or not we were going to have more deaths in this LP, and it looks like you guys are as crazy as I am because it was like 85% of you wanted more deaths, and some of you guys were like, you're crazy. Uh, let's get Jack to wake up the child and put the child to bed. Uh, I mean, Link. Link does have a name. All right. I'm beginning to doubt my, uh, my skills as a parent in real life due to playing this game. Like, I'm a little concerned about when the time comes in the future how I will look after my own kids. Doesn't matter, I'm not having kids until I'm like 80 anyway. All right, Jack, let's put my little peanut to bed, please. Now, a lot of you guys were saying that Jack is so sweet, don't kill him off. Some of you guys were saying, oh my God, Jack is so annoying, just get rid of him already. He's disappointed us, he's bad with the kids. You know, what's the point of having him hanging around other than being a baby daddy? So, uh, I, I had a good think about this. I had a long, long think about it because we do not knock off Sims easily, do we? We think about this and he has maxed out every single skill and I think it would be a waste to kill him off. So I have the perfect plan for him. Also, he has a level 10 vampire law skill. Level 15 actually, because that's a bigger skill than the other skills. Uh, so that will be handy if indeed Aston does turn out to be a vampire when he ages up because I still think he can be a vampire. So that's that's pretty exciting. Uh, Aston's looking like he's pretty hungry. It's Sunday in the morning. It's the perfect day for Link's little birthday. And Jack, oh, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Jack's a good guy, right? Uh, he, he is very talented, so we're not gonna waste him. Jack's plan is actually going to be that I'm going to build a gorgeous little uh, cozy basement dungeon below the house and we're actually going to just make him paint stuff and we're going to sell his paintings as if they were our own and that's how we're going to keep the, the kids trust funds together so he's going to be working pretty hard. I'm very excited to be making him a basement area in the household. Now I'm wondering if we should put a dodgy secret staircase or if we should have a staircase going down. I feel like we should have a hidden staircase going down. We could put a secret door. Yes, the bookshelf secret door would be lit. We'll do that. We'll extend this. I suppose we don't need this extra window there. And you know what? He's going to have a beautiful life without any sunlight. He doesn't have to worry about getting sunburnt. So he's living in a good life. All right, let's just pull this sneaky cheat over here. Testing. Cheat's true. Oh, testing. There we go. Pop that bad boy on. And if we come back to these doors, it should be unlocked for us. Where did it go? Here we go. Now, which one should we get? This one's more modern. I love a hidden bookcase. Bookshelf. Nothing sus going on here, is there? Boys and girls, nope. And then we'll build the basement underneath. So we'll, he doesn't need that much room. That should, that should be fine. You know what we could do? We could actually go collect the other dad's tombstones and be a bit inspired by Edith Finch. Uh, what Remains of Edith Finch, a game I just recently played, and we could make a little shrine for them where their tombs are so the ghosts can visit the kids now and then. That is such a beautiful idea. Why didn't we think of this earlier? We'll get the uh, this nice little toilet there. So he can use the bathroom. He can shower. You know, we're not going to be cruel to him. He's still going to live a great life down here. Put that there. Actually, I think I'm really inspired by what remains of Edith Finch because there was one family member who lived under their house forever. So yeah, I'm definitely inspired by that. Definitely. Okay, let's get some activities and skills. We'll get him uh, a nice easel so he can start painting and we'll deliver him food now and then so he can uh, eat, which will be uh, important. So lots of easels. He's got lots of opportunity to paint things. 
What else can we put in here for him? Oh, he needs a bed. Yes, he'll need somewhere to sleep. Uh, we don't really have too many funds, so we might have to go with this one. There we go, nice little camper bed. And something like a mirror to reflect on his life in the dungeon. Yeah, I think that's nice. It's a beautiful spot, very motivating. So many things to think of and paint. So much inspiration in this concrete box. Excellent. Oh, it would be so nice for the kids to go to the shrine now and then. We'll make it a little bit grander though. Okay, so I finished the shrine. Uh, it's beautiful. So if we if we walk down here, it's a very uh, art deco slash crazy modern exciting basement area so the kids can get excited to go see their dads. And uh, yeah, you just go in here and hopefully if all goes to plan, uh, we'll be placing on those pedestals the golden urns. And that here is, is me. That's me as a golden statue. We got it made. We got Jack to make it, to carve it. And uh, that is actually me to remind them that their mother is always here to look after them and that their fathers will come and visit now and then. So it's very nice. The black in the wallpaper represents mourning and the yellow gold symbolizes royalty, trust funds, a new life and beginning. Uh, so very nice indeed. Very nice. And then if we go into uh, the basement where Jack will be uh, living temporarily, he's got the nice big glass door in here. Very inspirational room to be painting landscapes, portraits, being creative, you know, I just want him to have a very creative uh, space that was inspiring and uh, we don't have a lot of funds, so we needed to give him that bed. So Jack, uh, we might get you to go down here uh, this is, this is your bed. Okay, goodbye. Uh, we'll just get him to go under there and we'll lock the door on him so he can get to work and concentrate. So that'll be good and well. Okay, Jack, off you go. Uh, oh, where is he? Come on, honey buns. Oh, are you, are you not, are you trying to escape my dungeon? In you go, good boy, that's a good boy. Lock door for everyone but Jack. So there we go, that's nice. The kids can still go visit him, he can be happy. Oh, what's what's up my little porcupine? He needs some attention. All right, I'm coming for you, honey buns. Uh, no, that's not your papa. <laughs> Let's brighten your day, have some kid time together, talk about day. How do we look today? Oh, fabulous as always. Now we do need to take a pregnancy test as well. Oh yes, Linky Poo, your favorite's here. Your favorite's here. Aww. Actually, let's not teach to talk yet. Let's just have a little bit of fun together. Okay, good. Attention's going through the roof. That's what I like to hear, but I'm gonna put you to bed and you can have a little sleep and then later on we're gonna age you up. We might just have a birthday party at home, I'm thinking. I don't know, I mean, we could go somewhere. But I kind of like just a party at home for Link. I mean, it's his first big birthday, so it's nice to be at home. Oh, uh, you grumpy now. You're a grumpy boy. What's this? Angry, frustrated with words from trying to learn to talk. Aww. Okay. Good night, Link. You're gonna be such a big boy soon. When you wake up, we're gonna age you up and I think we'll do a little bit of cake baking, maybe pick up the ex-husbands and that, that sounds like a pretty good time to me. Ooh, pufferfish nigiri, our favorite. Uh, what kind of cake do we want? Ooh, taco casserole. Uh, let's just go with a nice chocolate cake. Nice, rich, succulent chocolate cake. I feel like we need more succulent plants in the game. Actually, we don't have many succulents. Is this a succulent? I don't know. Cook for your little son, Deli. 
and we better pick an outfit as well. Maybe we should all wear matching. Oh my God, let's have a onesie party. Let's have a costume party. Oh, Link's going to take forever to rest up. I forgot how much toddlers have to sleep. You know what? We're going to do a sneaky cheating. I know I said I wasn't going to use cheats in this LP, but you guys, it's Aston's, I mean, it's Link's birthday. So I feel like, I feel like it's okay. Oh my God, set his head. Can we just do this quickly? Like, oh my God. Oh my God. He's a dinosaur. Oh my God. Wait, wait, let me just see this. Oh my God. He's a giraffe letterbox. Oh wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. What else can we set as his head? Set his head. <laughs> oh no. What happens if we set this as his head? My son is a ladybug. My son is a hedge. I just don't understand why the letterbox is so humongous. My son is a letterbox. My gosh. <laughs> My son is a potty head. <laughs> oh my god, look at him trying to get down the stairs with a potty on his head. Oh, you can do it, son. You can do it. Oh my gosh. He's amazing. I mean, it's completely normal. Your kids. Walking around the house with a potty on their head. A giant potty, I might add. Yay, you did it! You did it, son! Oh my gosh. This is the best birthday ever. Yes, honey. Slay. Oh my Okay, what were we actually doing? We were gonna cheat their needs. Walter need, uh, Phil needs household. So everyone's in a magically good mood. That's beautiful. And let's throw a party. Okay, birthday sim is little Link. Uh, the guests are obviously going to be us, but we'll invite our other awesome friends. Yuki, Jack, you can come out from the basement. Jasminda, Federigo, Bjorn, Clara. Hayden, you can come. We quite liked you, didn't we? Tetsu, my mate! Akira. Where are all the kids, you know? Gordon Ramsay. Caleb. All right. Uh, we will get a caterer. Why not? Uh, we, we're not going to be drinking. Uh, we're not going to be entertaining. It's going to be a very nice family event. Here we go. There's our house. All right, everyone. Aston, you need to put a potty on your head. Wait, does little Link still have it on his? Excellent, we can have a potty party. Okay. It's to symbolize getting too big for the potty. Okay, smile. Oh God, the potty is too big. Hmm, I think we're gonna have to go bigger. I think we're gonna, yeah, yeah, beautiful. That is a shot if I've ever seen one. Stunning. Oh, how artistic does that look? Nice one, Aston. All right, we'll need to take a photo of, can we get a little picture of Link? Oh my gosh, we can't take a picture of Link. Uh, take group photo of adults. Let's get a picture of me. Wait, I wanted a picture of someone else though. Why can't we take a picture of anyone else? Oh, I like this shot. This is a nice shot of me in the house. Okay, let's put on the cool reverse colors. Oh gosh, that's not nice. Maybe black and white would give the mood a little bit more. Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. I really wanna get a picture of Link though. I wish we could get pictures of him. How did he already poo his pants when we cheated his his mood? Oh my gosh. All right, let's take a selfie. Can we take, oh, you can't take pictures with kids. That sucks. 
Oh well. Where is everyone's potties? All right, I think it's time for us to blow out the candle. Let's uh, let's get the cake out. All right, help blow out candles, the little link. Also, hello friends. I was a bit distracted to actually run the party whilst we we were taking pictures. My bad. Yay, little Linky's gonna age up. How exciting. So exciting. Big blue. Yay. Oh my gosh, she's gonna age up into such a big boy. Oh my gosh. Yay, Link aged up. Childhood, boundless creativity, rule breaking, and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. So he's grown up with a few skills already. That's good. Uh, and what should he be like? I don't know. I guess we could make him... I mean, it's always good to have a little genius in the family. I quite like that. And uh, maybe we could make him a little bit of a... a... Kleptomaniac could kind of be handy. Lazy, evil, outgoing. His dad was always pretty ambitious. They had a lot of money. They took a lot of land, the land grabs. Uh, we'll just make him a genius as well. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna look like? We need to reset this object. Oh my gosh. Pause. Let's. Oh my gosh. He's a very good looking little kid. Uh, he's not as uh, unique, I would say, as Aston, but Link, you look great. I think I've been calling him an Ast Aston the whole time. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, he looks like such a happy child. Well, that's very exciting, you guys. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Let me know what you thought of our dungeon for Jack, what you thought of our shrine area uh, or tomb area for the dads who passed away. Do let me know what you think about that. And I look forward to speaking to you guys super soon. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you later. Bye.